Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how I make my kale smoothies. And check out my garden. Everything's growing very, very nice. It's only June 19th and yeah, everything's getting really big. already started to harvest like basil uh, kale Swiss chard now Swiss chard I harvested it yesterday and it's already growing very big check that out yeah yesterday but today I'm gonna harvest my kale because I want the smoothie this is the uh, lacinato kale look how big it is already so I'm gonna harvest a few leaves from each plant. This thing grows quick. And I like to have a kale smoothie at least twice a week. I mean, it's good, it's good for your health. And believe it or not, the more bitter it is, the better it's for your liver. And I think I have enough. Now maybe one more. My wife can store them uh, in the fridge for a few days. Out of my four Swiss chard plants, this is the only one I didn't harvest, but I harvested that, that one, and the one in the back yesterday. And look how big they've gotten already. All right, guys, so I'm gonna make enough smoothie just for one person, one cup. So I'm gonna, my wife already washed this kale and I'm gonna add it to this cup, add a little bit of water and blend it first. And then I'm gonna add the other ingredients. Yeah, this lacinato kale is different from what we're accustomed to. Yeah, it's very green, right, Maria? Yes, it's very dark. Yeah, very dark. All right, and I know I had a spoon here somewhere. And now what I'm going to add to mine is one tablespoon of wheat germ. And one tablespoon of this, and I forgot the name, what is it? Flaxseed. Ah, you always add flaxseed too. Okay. And 
one or two. One or two tablespoons of almonds. almonds. I love almonds. I'm gonna do two. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add some frozen banana. Maybe three or four pieces. That's good. And some strawberries. Maybe half this bag. Maybe that's about six pieces, right? Right there. Okay. I'm gonna add more water. Maybe up to here, Maria. There we go. And this is gonna be my lunch for today. Yeah, it's kinda hot. The temperature outside is like 92 right now. Wow. Salud. Mm. It's good, Maria. It's great. So I hope some of you can make a smoothie like, like this one. It's uh, kale, super healthy. Now this is the way I do it. I can add different fruits, different nuts, or even stevia if I wanted to sweeten it up, but not necessary. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is my lunch. I have smoothies uh, many times a week, and when I add kale to my smoothies, it I don't feel hungry. I don't feel hungry for four to five hours easy. Maybe more, maybe six. I do it for health and to keep uh, an eye on my weight. And one thing about the smoothies is if you add frozen fruit like the banana and the strawberries, it, it obviously is gonna make the smoothie very cold and it feels like I've added crushed ice even though I did not. All it was, it was just frozen fruit. So my advice is take some bananas, peel them, cut them into four or five pieces, put them in bags and uh, Ziploc bags, freeze them and use them as you need them. And it makes the, the smoothie very, very cool, which is perfect for the kind of weather we have now. So now I'm just gonna get some eggs. I already got some this morning. There may be a couple more now. So I gave the chicken some lettuce in this ball. Maybe an hour, hour and a half, it's already gone. And I have two more. Let's go check for silky eggs. He's ready to fight me today. He does every day. So we have one broody silky over there at the corner and one of them laid an egg over there. See, they lay eggs wherever they want. Hey! And a couple of them will lay eggs here too. And they sure did. Two eggs. I have four silky hens. Three eggs today. One's broody. So that's, that's it for today. Okay, so five eggs now. I had three this morning. That makes eight. There'll be a couple more later today. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. You have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. We'll see you manana. Bye. Thank you.